I'm Ella. I'm an administrator here at Bridge Start. I might help you here to enroll to a child. And is this for 2014? Okay, well, if you'd just like to have a seat, we can get started. Um, did you have an appointment with the principal or me? With me? Okay, I will just need to look at that. Just to confirm. Okay. Yep, you're right on time. Okay, so here at Bridgestone, um, we accept students of the highest standard. Um, as you can see, we have great school grounds here. And have you um, read any of our pamphlets located on this side? You have, okay, so you know all the nitty gritty details. Okay, perfect. Well, what I'll do is I'll just need a copy of your son's latest report, letter of recommendation, and um, all his details. It's in this folder. So what you'll need to do now is I'll give you these forms that I'll get you to fill out, or would you like me to? I can. Yeah, okay. So what I'll need to know is um, what is your son's full name? Actually, I just realised this was the wrong sheet of paper. Here we go. <laughs> I apologise. Okay. Okay, and he stayed away. Just need his place of birth. Okay. Yep. Um, now I'll need his name of his current school. And, um, reason for leaving. Okay. Yep, that's not a problem. And, um, just to let you know, all of these details will remain in confidentiality. Okay. Um, now I will need to know, um, your details. So, if I could have your full name, please. A really nice name. <laughs> okay. okay, your data back. Okay. Um, place of birth. Your current home address. going to use a pencil just in case I get any of this wrong. So was that 18? Yep. Okay, um, your mobile number.
your hair plan but if you have one Okay, um, and do you work from home or your office? Can I please have your office number? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, okay. Um, now I'll just need you to sign right here. husband's details. So it's his full name. Okay. Okay, um his date of birth if you Same address. Okay. Okay, um, and his mobile, please. Thank you. I know it's quite a long process, but um, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> okay, now just um, his work phone, or does he work? Okay, now I'll need your current occupation. Okay. And your husband's. Yep. I know it's more like a job interview, but it's just so we have all your details. As your son is enrolling in the school, so just so we have all the safety backup. And I'll also need a um, emergency contact address. Okay. And their mobile. So with this, your grandmother. So your mother. Okay. Yep. So what's her name? Her address. Okay. Use the pencil again. <laughs> okay, her um, number. She just has a home phone. Okay, what's that, please? So now, we'll just send these off to the principal. Okay, and I will just take you through um, a couple of details here. Um, so this will be your son's um, school diary. And here, our school motto is take pride, take care, and do good. <laughs> so, um, first of all, the school is not responsible for any personal equipment that is lost or stolen. It is the student's responsibility to ensure that articles such as wallets and mobile phones are kept on your son during sport or dance or PE and these valuables are deposited in a safe place so um, as for instance in PE the teacher will collect the valuables and um, it will be locked in a staff room 
also our policy is we have no um, no smoking in the school, even for seniors. Um, so if a student is caught smoking, it is an immediate suspension, um, as well as drugs. And also, um, it is inadvisable for students to carry their mobile phones around the school area, just in their hands. Um, in the school, in their hands is fine, but um, just around the area, we don't recommend just such as, you know, the safety of the phone, and if it is to get stolen, we wouldn't want that to happen. Um, and there are many people in the school that can help your son if he has a problem, simply ask a teacher or a friend, um, and also your year advisor, and we also have a school counsellor here that is available seven days a week, um, even on weekends. So, um, yes, and also we have a school canteen. There is a range of items such as we have pizza, we have wraps, um, sushi, salads, soups, pies and sausage rolls. Um, and we also have fish and chips as well as a range of other hot foods and snacks and biscuits um, as well as drinks and soft drinks and um, in uh, because your son is entering ninth grade he um, will be getting a laptop um, this is for the students use 24 7 um, however at the end of the year the student will have to return the laptop um, and also certain websites will be blocked just for the students um, well-being and safety okay um, and also um, we do have homework in the school um, so the um, policies of our homework are that um, the home learning activity should be relevant, challenging, and skill-based. And also, in addition, home learning activities should provide opportunities for students to develop um, and, de and demonstrate initiative, resourcefulness, problem-solving skills, critical thinking, time management skills, resource skills, and research skills. And the outcomes of this, as you know, will definitely improve the students' work and learning. Um, as well as homework, um, class hours are 8.55 to 3.10. Um, there will be a bell at 8.55, that is the first bell, and then at 9 o'clock the student must be in class by then at 10.30 we will have recess, then at 10.55 is um, next period, which is period 2. Then period 2 will run till 11.54, then that will be period 3, and then period 3 will run to 1.15 which is lunch, and lunch will run for uh, roughly 50 minutes to 55 minutes. So then at 1.55 uh, a bell will ring, and then by 2 o'clock, period 4 should start, and then at 3.10 school's over. And also on Fridays, the student will finish at 2.30. So um, schools will be school will be an earlier time, obviously. And also with lateness, um, we uh, require a signed um, slip from a parent as soon as possible if the student does not have a note with them upon lateness. Um, so yes. And also, you can have early departure requests if you just give your son a note that he can give to us, and then 
he can um, administrate it and then he can come to us a couple minutes before he has to leave and then we'll just give him another note that we can send above with so I know it's quite a lot of information yes uh, well we're very excited to have your son he sounds like a very educated boy um, and we also have sick bay um, so I'll just read you um, some of the classes that we have here so um, here at Bridgestone we offer maths, science, all of the basics but we also offer a special visual arts program and we also offer drama and music um, as well as other outside class activities um, some of these are sports so you can do um, fencing archery, water polo, soccer, um, outdoor hockey, or what was the other one? I cannot remember, I apologise. So, does your son like sports? Oh yeah? Well, um, why don't you tell me a bit about your son? I'd love to know, just to get to know him a bit more. What's he like? Oh yeah? Okay, so it's more of a kind of creative, yeah. Well, we definitely like to um, make them thrive here in the creative department. We, um, we definitely want to offer every student the best and make them the best they can be. Because here we believe that we don't just want to, you know, tell them stuff that they can write down and that's it. We want to make them feel engaged in learning and sadly um, there are a lot of schools out there that um, don't really offer a lot so we think here that education shouldn't just be forcing a child to come to school but it should be a place where they'll want to come. So hopefully we can offer your son that. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming. We'll um, send you a um, administration package in a couple of days, which will include just some information sheets um, about us. And then um, when it comes to a couple of months before your son starts here, um, we'll give you another package, which will have his timetable, his school diary, all of that. So thank you so much for coming and um, welcome to Bridgestone. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.